So today's the day after Christmas, so I don't have to worry about this, but this is not recommended in the summertime at all. You will die. Hey guys, welcome back to another hiking adventure. Today, I'm doing a local Las Vegas area hiking trail. I'm about 40 minutes away from Las Vegas at Lake Mead, and I'm about to do the historic Railroad Tunnels Trail. This trail is roughly about eight miles round trip if you take it all the way to Hoover Dam. And I'm actually gonna go to Hoover Dam and then also up on the Pat Tillman Bridge. This trail is easy, it is extremely flat, and it's very beautiful. You get great views of Lake Mead and you go through five railroad tunnels as well, which is really cool. Now the historic significance of this trail is the railroad used to bring supplies for the construction of the Hoover Dam through this exact route we're going, which is really cool. So it is the day after Christmas, 2022. It is a beautiful morning and uh, it feels good right now. The high is gonna be around 65, partially cloudy. So it's good hiking weather, definitely. This is a good trail to take people on that are just starting to hike. Um, you could always just hike it through the tunnels itself and then turn back, which is about four and a half miles round trip, which is great in its own. And uh, I always take people who are just starting to hike on this hike, as long as it's not summertime. But yeah, this is a good beginner hike for sure. But just look how flat this is. I mean, this is practically the whole trail how it is. I mean, there's a few little spots where there's some incline, but nothing crazy. Another cool thing about this hike is there's a lot of plaques like this along the way to talk about the history. So take a look at the train, what it used to look like back then. So one thing, I wouldn't recommend coming here on the weekends because it does get really crowded on this hike. Um, if you do come on a weekend, come really early so you can beat the crowds. And um, also it is free to park here, which is great. It is part of Lake Mead, but not in the fee area. So this plaque actually shows you some of the uh, wildlife you would find here. Bighorn sheep I see quite often. Now here are some of the uh, amazing views of Lake Mead along the way. I'm actually approaching the first two tunnels that I'm about to go through right now. Bats can actually be found in these tunnels and there was only one time I saw one like sleeping on the wall of a tunnel.
So some of these railroad tunnels are collapsing. That's why they have this yellow thing right here that people can walk through toward the end so nobody gets hurt. So they did actually have this height closed for a while because the tunnels were collapsing. And then they put these things in and they opened it back up again, which was good. So as you can see, some of the tunnels are really short and then some are longer. I think I have just one left right now, but uh, after the last tunnel, luckily there's a bathroom there. <laughs> so, so the cool thing about this particular tunnel is it actually curves around. Alright, so this is the end of the actual tunnels part of the trail and uh, you cannot hike past the tunnels um, in the evening or at night or whatever. You know, I heard a story from a friend of mine who went in a group and actually continued on one time at night and then they had armed guards and stuff pop out of nowhere and uh, make them turn around but they weren't too happy that they were hiking through here at night. So don't do that. <laughs> It's because it gets so close to the Hoover Dam, they don't want any like, you know, terrorist acts or anything like that going on, you know. So now I'm continuing on to the Hoover Dam and the Pat Tillman Bridge. All right, so this is kind of like a junkyard for parts of the Hoover Dam. As you can see, what I believe these are turbines but uh, don't quote me. But yeah, it's pretty neat. I know that's not a tank, but it looks like a tank. There's a lot of old stuff here. It is totally neat to see this though. So out there in the distance, we can see the Pat Tillman Bridge, which is where we're gonna eventually end this hike. So one thing I did forget to mention is uh, this trail is actually dog friendly. You're allowed to bring your dog on the trail and I do see lots of dogs. Um, also, you can ride your bike on this trail as well. And then uh, back on the subject of dogs, um, most of the hiking trails around Las Vegas are uh, okay to bring your dogs, you know, as, as long as they're on a leash a lot of the times. But uh, compared to a lot of other places, Vegas is very dog friendly when it comes to hiking. We see a lot of power lines and stuff around here because the Hoover Dam actually generates tons of electric power. So here are some more old parts of the Hoover Dam with uh, plaques to describe them. So the Pat Tillman Bridge is about a quarter mile from here, but right now I'm going to basically go down to the Hoover Dam area and take a look around there to show you. So to get down to the Hoover Dam, I got to go through this large parking area and uh, it's a little weird, but that's how we get there from here. There's the Pat Tillman Bridge right there, at least a piece of it.
So this is actually a really slow time of year, but there's still a lot of people here. Big tourist attraction, the Hoover Dam is. So we are in a major drought right now, so let me show you how bad it is. So do you see all that white rock? That is where the water level used to be. And now look where it's at. All right, as you can see right there, it says Arizona time. I'm officially in Arizona now, just crossing the Colorado River. From here, you can really see how bad the water has receded over the years. That's why we got a very low water supply here in the Las Vegas area. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back on the main trail again. I think I'm done showing off the Hoover Dam from down here. All right, so I'm back on the main trail again. Half mile left to get to the Pat Tillman Bridge. There are signs everywhere that'll lead you in the right direction to the bridge. So basically on this hike, you'll be going between Nevada and Arizona multiple times. All right, so now I gotta go up that real quick. But honestly, you get the best view of the Hoover Dam from the bridge. from here is incredible so I've been wanting to film this hike for my YouTube channel for a long time and I finally did it today I'm glad I got it out of the way finally I enjoyed it though it's always nice to do this hike and uh, this is a great hike to do if you're a local or you're a tourist or whatever just it's awesome like you see the railroad tunnels you see the Hoover Dam and you see the Pat Tillman Bridge. So it's awesome. It's like a three in one hike basically. Oh yeah, don't forget great views of Lake Mead as well. Well, I'm turning back around, heading back to where I started. You guys, I wanna thank you so much for joining me on this adventure today. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you have not done so already, I would totally love for you to subscribe to my channel so I can take you with me on future hiking adventures around the Las Vegas Valley or other parts of the nation. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Till next time.